Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Microsoft 612 Solution. So today we we will look how we can configure coexistence in between Google Workspace and Microsoft 65. Okay. So right now I am in the Microsoft 65 Admin Center panel. Okay. So let me show you the user first. Right now I am having uh, one uh, admin user. Okay. And to my active users, okay. So one is contact at email solutions .co .in, and second one is support at email solutions .co .in. So if we check where my MX record is pointed out, okay. So let me check over here. I will show you. So see right now. Microsoft 65 is my primary email server. Okay. So I have pointed out MX records of Microsoft 65 with zero priority. So all the mails uh, would deliver to Microsoft 65 only. Okay. Now I want to uh, divert some of the mails to Google Workspace. Okay. So some of the users are using Google Workspace in our scenario. Let me show you the users over here. So see. These both are the co common users, okay. So it is just for the testing purpose I have created, okay. But to see one is additional user which is test dot test at email solutions .in, okay. So we want to deliver mail for test at email solutions .in, in the Google Workspace console, okay. So what we have to do for that one? So in coexistence, you must have to keep in mind one thing that whatever users in the Google workspace, okay, that should not exist in Microsoft 65, okay, otherwise our, our connector would not work perfectly, okay. So uh, see, right now test is here, but it's not in Microsoft 65, okay. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to go to Microsoft 65 Admin Center panel, then go to Exchange Admin Center. In the Exchange Admin Center, on the left hand side you will find one option mail flow okay so click on it and expand it under mail flow there is one option for accepted domains so you have to click on it now click on your domain so initially in your case if i talk about in your case it would be this okay it would be authority but you must have to change it to internal relay when you want to divert some of the uh, users may refer to Google Workspace. So you must have to select this internal relay. Accept this if you want to use subdomain on Google Workspace as well. Okay. But in our case, there is no subdomain. So right now, uh, I have selected only internal relay option over here. Okay. Now let me save it. After that, you have to uh, click on connectors. Right now, I have already one uh, connector. So I'm deleting it. Okay, now I'm creating one connector over here from Office 65 to C, connection from. So it would divert mails which is delivered to Office 65, okay, to your organization email server. Means, uh, see, our primary email server is Microsoft 65, okay. So if someone is sending any emails, then it would deliver the mails over to Microsoft 65 using MX reports, okay. But from Microsoft 65, we have to divert it to Google Workspace. Okay, so I have selected connection from Office 65 to your organization email server. Now click on next. Okay, so right now I'm giving name such as Google Connector. Okay, now select this both the option. Click on next. Then See, if you want to enable this connector for all the accepted domain in your organization, then select this one or else you have to select the last option. Okay, now I'm entering my domain over here. Edit, click on next. Now, how we want to route our email messages. Okay, so we have to mention Google Workspace MX records over here. So, in our case, I am mentioning smtp.google.com, okay, which is MX records of Google Workspace. Now click on next. Uh, keep this option by default. Click next. Now you have to mention user 
okay that is on the google workspace so in our case uh, i am mentioning test at email solutions dot co dot in okay so let me add test at email solutions dot co dot in add it now click on validate so it would validate our connector to google workspace okay using this email address So it would take time around one or two minutes. So let me wait for it. So what exactly these connectors do? See, if someone is sending any emails, then it would come to Microsoft 65 using MX records. Okay. But if recipients does not exist on Microsoft 65, then it would look for the connector. Okay. In connector, we will route these messages through Google Workspace MX record. Okay. That is the reason why we have added that particular Google Workspace MX records over there. Now let me wait for the validation. Yeah, so as you can see over here, uh, our connection to Google Workspace using MX record of Google Workspace. Okay, see, check connected to smw.google.com, send test email, is set, click on next and create connector. Okay, so we are done from the Microsoft 65. Now you have to come to Google Workspace console. I mean admin console. Now search for host. So first of all, you have to create one host, okay. So right now I have already uh, created one host over here. Okay, so I'm deleting this one. Oh, okay. Uh, just one minute. Actually, I have to delete it from routing first of all. Then and then it would allow me to delete it from host. So let me delete this routing. Click on post. Delete it. Yeah, so now you have to uh, add a new root, okay? So mention any name over here, such as Microsoft 365. So post in, in the sense of connector to Microsoft 365, okay? If someone is sending any emails from Google Workspace, okay? then it should be diverted to Microsoft 65 using Microsoft 65 it would divert it to the outside email servers okay so right now we have to create one uh, host over here so I have named it Microsoft 65 now in the host name you have to mention SMTP address of Microsoft 65 so it's smtp.office65.com port number by default is 25 okay and uh, keep this option by default as it is click on test TLS connection Okay, so T TLS connection is validated now click on save it Yeah, so we have already added one route to Microsoft 65. Okay, now we have to configure this route for our uh, inbound and outbound emails. Okay, so for that we have to go to routing Click on routing now in the uh, routing option click on configure okay now i have to give one name divert to microsoft 365 or you can give any name such as microsoft 365 connector okay so uh, first of all give any name now you have to select the option over here okay which email messages to affect so in our case inbound outbound internal sending and internal receiving you must have to check mark all the options over here okay now scroll down keep this uh, option as it is now directly go to the root option now click on change root select the also read root spam okay now you have to click over here on the normal routing you will find the connector whatever if we have created in the host in Google Workspace Admin Console, okay. So we have created Microsoft 65. 
so I am selecting this uh, host now scroll down on this spam you have to click on bypass spam filter for this message okay now select uh, this option as well encryption require secure transport TLS connection okay now click on show option in the show option you have to keep this option by default account types to effect so you have to remove this option and you have to click on unrecognized catch all okay now save it okay so once it is done once it is done you have to make sure that you have pointed out google workspace spf record in your domain hosting panel as well as dkim keys okay so how you can get the dkim keys from google workspace editor so, so first of all you have to click on apps icon then google workspace then click on gmail on the gmail you have to click on authenticate email So in authenticate email, you will find the KIM authentication. Okay. Now see, this is the, the KIM keys for my domain. As I have already added it, my authentication is enabled. Okay. If you don't update this record in your domain hosting panel, then uh, it would not verify your identity. Okay. And uh, it may show uh, some of the mails uh, would be sent by uh, unverified sender okay that kind of stuff will be have fun if you don't update this record so you must have to update it and there might be chances of getting your mail delivered to the junk emails so you must have to update this record to avoid that uh, issues such as junk email and unverified sender and all okay and let me show you over here as well the KIM lookup perform it so see you can check my DKIM key over here okay so I have already updated this one now let me show you SPF record as well so I have included SPF record in my existing Microsoft Sysway record okay yes you must have only one SPF record per the root domain okay so I have included Google Workspace MX, uh, sorry, SPF record over here into the same one of Microsoft 65, okay. So let me do one quick test mail. So right now I'm logging with my support at email solutions.co.in email account. I'm opening Outlook over here. And I'm sending one mail. Okay. Let me send you to test at email solutions .in, which is on google workspace in our case paste email 30 okay so i'm giving one random digit test email 30. okay i'm sending this mail as you can see mail is sent okay now if we check our Google Workspace account, which is test at emailsolutions.co.in, okay, it is getting delivered over here. Okay, now let me respond on this same mail reply. Received. Okay, now let me send it. I have sent it. Now let me check our Microsoft 65 outlook account for my current account okay which is supported in the solutions now let me wait for the mail yeah it is getting delivered okay so no so see right now uh, this is uh, we have done the testing for the internal case okay now i'm sharing one test email from my phone to the gmail account okay so let me Wait over here. Let me send one test mail account. Let me open Gmail on my phone. Test email and 14. Test email 14. Here. 
I have sent one test email from my personal Gmail account to this Google Workspace account. Okay, let me wait for it. It must deliver over here. See, yeah. So we have got this email from my personal Gmail account. Okay. Now let me respond on the two same. Hey, I have received your email. Sorry. I'm sending this one so I will get one email on my personal Gmail account and I'm responding on to the same okay so I'm responding on to the same just one minute let my account refresh first Actually, my connection is getting worse. Yeah, just one minute. It's back. Yeah. So let me respond on to the same email that I have received from my test email account. I have shared it to yes 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 okay to me only actually it is taking time to let me change my network connection yeah I have changed my network connection let me yeah I have Received email. I'm responding on to the same email. Okay. Hey, I have received your email sent. Yeah, so I have replied on the same way. So you will get the mail deal over here. Okay. Let me wait for it. yes so see as you can see over here okay here i have received your mail okay uh, yeah see okay so it is working for outside as well as internal also okay so yeah so that is the way you can configure coexistence in between google workspace and microsoft drive okay if you want to configure these for active users on microsoft drive okay so in that scenario i will make one additional video okay so see this is the scenario where uh, test user does not exist on microsoft drive okay but now i will create one uh, coexistence setup where one active users would be on Microsoft C Y, but still their emails is getting delivered to Google Workspace even when we have pointed out MX records of Microsoft C Y. Okay, so yeah, please at last subscribe my channel, hit a like button, and stay tuned for future videos.